Hey everyone, welcome back. In the previous lesson, we have successfully did the conversions from the bounding box to the YOLO labels. Now, what I want to do here is that I want to split this data, particularly the images, into train and test set. Let's see how exactly we'll do that. Okay, let me take the DF and take the file name. Okay. And here you go, you can notice that we have 15,663 rows are there. But ideally, we are not having this many images. Let's look into the number of images. Let's me name that as images dot unique. Execute it. Now, let's print the length of him. Okay, let's print the images and let's also look into the length of the images. Oh, sorry. Now this 5012 images, I want to split that into train and test. Let's say I want to split this 5012 images, let's say 80% train and 20% images for test. Now let's see how we can do that. Alright, the first thing what I want to do is that I just want to shuffle the images. The first what I will do is that let me take this images array and convert that into data frame. So for that what I will do is that let me take that image df and let me convert that into data frame and which is my images. And the column names I want to specify here is file name. Okay, now let me display the top 5 rows and which we have this and we have all the images are there. Now this images I want to split that in train and test. Okay, let me name that let's say image underscore train and here I will take the sample of 80 percentage of the data. I can use this sample and specify the frac is equal to 0 0.8 and which will actually randomly select the 80 percentage of images or 80 percentage of data. So I'll write down here is that it will first it will do shuffle and random shuffle and pick 80 percentage of images okay now what i'll do here is that let me convert that images train into a tuple in order to do that let me check this is my file name and from this file name i can get the series of tuple and i can get all the images in tuple let me display this and here you go, you'll get all the images, 80% of images randomly in a tuple. Cool. Now the next step is we need to get the 20% of images as test. Remember one thing is that we already picked the 80% images from this data frame and we need to take the rest of the images apart from this. So for that what I will do is let me check the image underscore df. Now write a query saying that the file name not in my image train that's what it actually return you my image underscore test okay and in order to get the all the images in tuple let me do the same thing what we did for the train and this will actually it will take rest 20 percent images it will take rest 20 percent images oh we need to give the format which is f now execute this done now we have successfully get the images underscore test and which is actually the 20 percent images and images under the train which is my 80 percentage of images so let's look into the length of this and also let's look into the length of our image underscore train. Now here we go. This is my 80% of images and this is my 20% of images. Cool. Now what I will do is that now let's split this data into training and test. Like saying that train underscore df that's going to be equal to take the data frame and write a query and asking the file name in my images underscore train 
and put the f string and similarly test underscore df from the data frame and the file name in images underscore test now execute this and here you go which we have the images underscore train dot head and this is basically the images that are basically used for the training and this is the images underscore uh, dot head and this are all the images which is basically used for the testing cool so this is how we can split the data in training and testing in the next lesson we will see more on this until then happy learning